Hey everybody, before we get to generalizing our SQL to work with variables and user input, I want to talk about updating data because that's one piece we haven't talked about quite yet. So in the code we have here, we are deleting one book from our table. And to show you guys this, it's what we showed in the previous episode. We started with this here, where we have the Are You My Mother book in here two times, and then we delete it based on the row ID. But what if we just wanted to update one of them to change the title or maybe change the page count of a book? That's what I'm going to be showing you now. So you don't necessarily have to delete the book and then reinsert another book. You can just do it all in one, and I'm going to show you the syntax to do that. So you would say, update books set and we'll go with title what are we going to set it to we're going to set it to new book now we're going to do a where condition so we can specify what book we want to update and we'll just say where id is to all right so let's try this now run it we actually want to use row id here run it now and there we go so we started with, are you my mother? And then are you my mother again? And now it's, are you my mother? And new book. So that is how you would change data in a table. Now the next logical thing would be to generalize this a little bit so we're not hard coding an ID like so. And it'd be kind of cool if we could just invoke a function where we could say something like update book, pass in the, the book we're working with, and then what we want the the new title to be something like that where we don't have to write sql every single time and this concept is known as an sdk and we're going to be building that in the next section of videos and that's going to be a whole lot better because we're going to avoid any hard-coded values we're also going to be very careful of any security issues so stay tuned for that and i promise that's what we're going to talk about next hopefully so <laughs> be sure to subscribe and i'll see you there